Welcome back everyone, I am the Architectural Insider and today we have a few Photoshop hacks to try and make your life easier when editing. The first hack is Hold Shift. When you want to copy an item, for example trees, as we all need more of those in the render and in real life. Photoshop allows you to duplicate with just a push of a button. All you have to do is select an object and drag it while holding Alt or Option if you're a Mac user to duplicate. It's helpful as you don't waste time opening files and over and over. This works on just about anything in Photoshop. Hack number two, auto contrast and auto color up. If you want an image in Photoshop be exactly the same, for example, this tree, I would use auto contrast and auto brightness. The changes is major and makes your object fit in with the rest. Hack number three, hold shift for straight lines. In a lot of my renders, well, to be honest, all of them, I use this function. It allows you to draw straight lines in any direction. It's ideal for perspective or drawing shadows nearly everything. All you need to do is hold shift and click at the beginning of your straight line and then click again on where, wherever it ends. Go back more than a thousand times. If you make frequent mistakes, maximizing the number of undo steps can be a handy trick. In fact, Photoshop allows you to have up to a thousand undo steps in this hack. Just click Command Ctrl K to open the preference panel and once there, choose performance from the menu. Then drag the history state slider to the number you wish. Just bear in mind that the more history states you add, the more likely Photoshop is to slow down. Contact aware. I only just realized the name is contact aware. I thought it was contact owl and always wondered why the name was so weird. It turned out I was the problem. Anyway, this option allows you to fill any selection and fill it with surrounding content. It's ideal for anything, really just like this building. No way I was gonna try to do replicate that background. Copy and paste in place. When you make a selection and paste it with Ctrl V, it just puts it in the center and sometimes can be difficult to find the exact position. So what you can do is click Ctrl Shift V. It always puts it exactly where you copied it and it's great. Use comma and full stop to move between brushes. Sometimes when I have a large Photoshop file, right clicking to change my brush takes a second or two. So using comma and full stop really makes it easier to turn from one brush to another. Match color. This feature blows my mind and only got introduced to me by an amazing friend a few years back and used it ever since. When you have an image like this one I took in Athens in Greece and want to turn it to one of those dark grey filters instead of wasting my time to get it to the right stage using, using contrast, curves, all this kind of stuff I can just pick an image and use this feature all you need to do is go to image, adjustment, match color and select the layer and click ok and there you go straight and crooked lines in Photoshop the transform option under the edit tab is yet another powerful tool that gives you great control over the perspective of the image. If you select transform, wrap, you get the 12 adjustment points around the edge of the image that let you correct perspective errors such as straight, crooked lines and bent lines. Thank you very much for watching and I hope that these hacks have helped you. Please do send me your work so I could do a review video or leave in the comments down below if for any other suggestion videos. I'm Dr. Trude Insider, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe and I'll see you next time.